Yeah, so guys, and welcome to a brand new Road to Glory. And this is going to be a little bit of a controversial Road to Glory, I guess, on my channel. But it is going to be 0 to 2 million in 7 days with 0 trading. Now, if you wonder what 0 trading means, it means we're not going to be doing any trading. So how, um, how am I going to earn some coins, you may ask? Well, there is, a, uh, there is an ever-loved method known as the BPM, the Bronze Pack Method. Uh, and obviously there's recently been a lot of high ground the League SBC method, which is uh, so the bronze methods where you open bronze packs and dissect them of all the expensive stuff you get in them. And the League SBC method is a method where you go and do the League SBCs over and over again with the players you get from the bronze packs. Hey you! Would you like some cheap and reliable coins? Well don't worry, because I've got your place. Make sure to head over to Thiefer Coin Zone Hot Swaz Lad .com and use the discount code FLAIR for 2% off. Or, what you could do, which is a little bit more reasonable, is use your Amazon Prime or 4 99 subscription over on my Twitch channel. Now you may ask, why would you want to do that? That's a pretty good question. I've got you sorted. Basically, you get a daily trading guide. And what if I've got some questions? Twitter, Twitter DM, Twitch DM, email, business email, you name it. Thanks for watching and make sure to enjoy the video. So that is going to be the, uh, the plan of action. And we're literally going to be doing this for seven days. Uh, we'll be doing like the basic and the advanced SBCs and stuff with, and then we'll be doing nothing but BPM and uh, League SBC packs. So basically, it's replacing trading with doing SBCs and bronze packs. Uh, because And the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people in my stream and on YouTube will be like, okay, does the League SBC method work? You know, does the bronze method work? And my, my go-to answer with this is, yes, it does work, but it's not very effective. So we're going to be spending a whole week of it and uh, seeing how effective is it really. Because maybe I'm under my, you know, maybe I'm underrating it because I never do it. And it's not trading, so I'm biased. Or maybe it actually is pretty, pretty bad. Because personally, I don't think it's madly effective. So that's going to be the plan of action. Uh, so, of course, in today's episode, what we'll be doing is we're doing the basic SBCs to get ourselves some coins. What we're actually going to do, because, of course, you only get, like, 150 coins off the beginning, discarding kits, and we'd actually have to do trading or play a game. I'm going to go gift over, give myself over about 1Ks worth of, fit, uh, worth of like, contracts and um, what's it called, like, kits from the uh, catalogue. So just to get us started, then we'll do the basic SBCs and roll through. So... Doesn't madly matter, I guess, which uh, which nation we'll go for. I guess we'll go for... I'm trying to think of a nation. We'll probably go with Portugal, just because I think there's obviously quite a lot of teams in the Liga Nos that are, that are good for an SBC. Uh, so let's go and see what we get. And, I mean, I'd normally go with England for the basic SBC, but we're, we're going to start with a bit of coins. So what do we get? Uh, so all we need is players good for Liga Nos. Okay, that's a, that's actually a really good team. See, Barag is a, uh, a brilliant team to start off. So uh, what do we get? We get Rivaldo. We get, as I, as I basically wanted, a bunch of players uh, pretty useful for the... Um, Pretty useful for the Liga Nos SBC. So, that is that. What we next do is we'll go and gift ourselves over about 1k's worth of um, kits and so on. Then we'll discard that and uh, move underway the basic SBCs to start it off. So, as I said earlier, we are going to go and gift over all these kits and so on. Just because, again, it's going to give us 600 coins to work with. Because otherwise, again, I wouldn't have any coins to work with. And I'd have to play a game. And, uh, well, my Twitch chat went and voted for me to uh, go and gift over 600 coins worth of kits and so on. As you can see right here. Rather than to go and play a game. So again, how did I get these? I just jumped on my main account and gifted them over to this account. So it's nothing too mad. So I'm going to take that as a discard. Indeed, I would like to discard it. And now what we'll do is we are going to go and buy players to go and complete the basic SBC. So what I've just done is I've just cracked through the beginning SBCs. We get a few bronze packs. There's nothing interesting because everything's untradeable. So what we are going to be doing is we're going to be moving on to the basic. And uh, if you guys didn't know, uh, the basic actually has one set of uh, tradable SBCs. You've got these two right here, which you'll see is untradable on the reward. This one right here, which again is untradable. And uh, this one right here, which is, uh, it just says pack, which means it's all tradable. Now, we've got three SBCs right here. One going to give us a premium silver players pack. And all of these are about five, 600, uh, five, 600 coins. This one gives us, what, a 7.5. And this one gives us another 7.5. So there's some very, very easy cheap coins to get at the beginning. Again, more likely than not, you would have already done these. But if you're starting on a new account, they are, again, they are some very, very easy coins. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and crack on the way of completing one or two of these. And we'll show you the results. So we're doing our first SBC, that's going to give us an actual tradable pack, and that is the, uh, as I said earlier, basically the one from the basic SBC. So, we already had this Portuguese left mid, and we already had this English right wing, so we only had to buy these three guys, all 150 each, cost them 450 coins for a premium silver players pack, which uh, at discard this pack is 2k, which is a brilliant reason why it's a good way to start the road to glory. So, let's go and see what we're going to get in said pack then. So, we managed to get ourselves the likes of anyone, imagine we get like a 20k silver. Ooh, okay. I mean, 74 rate, which means, you know, it's quite rareish, I guess, for a silver. Uh, obviously, Eredivisie. He plays the team that uh, Dost had an amazing team season card for in the past. Oh, uh, okay. So we'll walk through these right now. We've got this guy, obviously, he's League SBC. That guy's League SBC. 
This guy's League SBC. This guy's about 1.5k. I don't really know off the top of my head who's... Off the top of my head, no one's amazing. I know this guy's 1.5, but the rest of them I don't really know. But it's not too bad. We're probably going to gander about 2 to 3k, which is amazing because it's really, really easy. And then we'll crack underway the rest of the basic SBCs. And then show we show you guys, I guess, what we're doing to uh, build them and uh, what we get in the packs. So we have gone and completed uh, both these other SBCs in the basic, uh, I guess, section for very, very cheap. So we start off with this one right here, and um, all we have to do is go and buy this guy for 200, this guy for 200, this guy for 200, this guy for 200, which means 800 coins for a 7.5k pack. I've seen, uh, I've seen worse times, uh, and we're gonna back our because We also have completed the other one. This one we actually did very, very luckily. So, because uh, we just did it in the rating and uh, chemistry parameters, you can see, look, 55 out of 55 and 48 out of 48. Basically, you've got to pick three leagues um, with uh, high rated silvers. You're kind of looking for a 70 or above, and uh, yeah, each of these bought for 200. So, that's another, what, six, 1.2k for a 7.5k pack. And we do get ourselves a rare mix pack for completing the whole thing. So, happy, happy days. So, what we'll do is we're going to go and open these. These will again hopefully give us uh, around about, I don't know, I basically hope to be on about. 8, 9k at the end of this. Maybe we'll do one or two advanced SBCs and then we'll crack underway with bronze packs. Actually, boards in the first pack. It's Portuguese. It's a goalkeeper. It's hopefully low. Okay, no, it's Raul Patricio. Raul Patricio's probably still got about, what, 1k on him or something like that. Honestly, I have a 7.5k pack. It's not that bad. We get Malico and Ellis. All of the uh, rares being uh, golds, which is decent. Uh, I guess we'll discard that. We'll send it all in the club and we'll, uh, we'll dissect it after. I won't bother dissecting it during packs. And uh, let me just lower this webcam a little bit. There you go. So I'm, uh, I'm not creeping on the bottom of it. So we've got our next pack. Are we going to be able to get ourselves boards out of this one as well? No. I mean, back to back, 7.5k packs of boards would have been scarily good. We do get ourselves our Amin Striker, who isn't really going to be good. I think he's 75 rated even. 76, there you go. Do get Rafael. Rafael is pretty good because um, on FIFA there are a lack of Brazilian goalkeepers. And, um, well, he's a Brazilian goalkeeper, so I think that's at least like 1k. And if we get a sentiment CDM, I think we can sell that. And again, we're still in the club and move underway the mix pack. Now, the mix pack should be pretty good because, of course, we've got expensive silvers for League SBCs, we've got expensive bronzes for SBCs. But most importantly, we get. No, uh. We get Malta being the gold, doesn't really matter. What do we get as our silver and bronzes? That's what we're looking for. Good League SBC players. Oh, uh, we get. Okay, so I know he's a few coins for League SBCs. He will be. A few coins for League SBCs, so he and uh, my good friend, actually Dick isn't actually worth anything because I know I've had him in the past. Fun fact by the way, I've actually played this guy in um, Weekend League and I beat him uh, last year. Yeah, he ran a weird team with, what was it? it, was like Prime Icon, uh, Overmars and so on. But yeah, he's the only ever professional FIFA player, uh, or FIFA player, football player I've, uh, I've played on FIFA. But there you go, so enough about that, enough stories. On to, uh, on to, I guess, either some BPM or some advanced SBCs. So, on to our first premium SBC. Now, the reason we can do this SBC is because we have one player pat pulled. If you have someone pat pulled, you can do this SBC, but otherwise, no, because you need a loyalty. Obviously, you get loyalty out of someone being our packs, and that pat pull player was Michael. Then, Brazil did the rest of this SBC because I know Brazil's kind of cheap. Yeah, it was, I think it was about 6, 7k for a 35k pack. Definitely worth the punt, especially as it, you know, contributes towards uh, completing the whole of the SBC. And personally, I think 35k packs are probably some of the best ones. Otherwise, I would have done 45k packs. So, let's go and open it and see what we're going to get then. So, we managed to get ourselves no walkout. No surprise. We do get a boards. We do get an inform, which is brilliant because it guarantees at least 10k. It's German. It's left wing back. It's Hasselbank, if I'm not wrong. Not bad. The uh, the better of the uh, German informs we, uh, we could have got. So, that's at least 15k off there. So... That might lead us onto a BPM, but we also might get another Inform or some high rate golds. So we get Taliska in there. Uh, no one of Mad Money. Yeah, Bore is a high rated non rare. Um, yeah, it's not looking too bad. Let's see what the rest of the uh, packs got for us then. A few badges. Send a bit of Cam Fitness. That's like another K right there. But yeah, not too bad on the 35k pack. What we'll do is we'll probably sell some stuff in there and go and open up some. Uh, we'll probably open up at our beginning of our, of our bronze packs. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is going to walk you through what we sold and moving on to a bit of the ever-loved BPM. And uh, I'll walk you through everyone this little BPM right now. So, first off, what's sold? Uh, a bunch of players using League SBCs. Not using League SBCs, sorry, got via the Advanced SBC. And then a bunch of silvers we sold from the Basic SBCs. Happy days. Now, we're on 21k and people would argue that this probably isn't enough to do BPM. Well, one thing I'm saying is we've probably got another 10, 15k sitting in our transfers, so it does not matter. So the BPM, the bronze pack method, the best method, the BPM does not work, Omega, you know. Basically, the method where you open bronze packs. Now, how does it work? I will open only 400 coins bronze packs. And what you do is you dissect the living daylight out of these packs. You sell the fitness. You either sell or hold on to uh, bronzes using League SBCs. 
you upgrade the bronzes. So this guy, I've, I've used this pack for an example. Now this guy I know is using the Atlanta SBC. And actually normally is worth a few coins. So let's go see what he's worth then. So Atlanta SBC, matey, is going for a whopping 300 coins. Now it cost me 400 coins for the pack. We're going to get 300 coins from him. So we're theoretically going to make a loss from this pack. But what we can do is we'll this him up for 300. Happy days. And uh, we'll probably use both these guys in a silver upgrade, which means you trade in basically 11 non... Wait, you trade in 11 bronzes and you get yourself two silvers. The theory to that is that you get two silvers in that. That can be used in League SBCs because, uh, as you guys know, there's like silvers worth like 10, 20, maybe even up to 30k in League SBCs. And the idea is you pack those and then use them in the League SBCs to um, obviously complete the League SBCs for cheaper. Uh, the rest of the pack I'll probably go and discard because um, there's nothing in it. Kits and uh, kits and badges aren't worth holding on to. If you have a dying urge, you can try and sell bronze fitnesses for 200 coins, but uh, we'll leave it right there. Move on to the next one. Now, the, as I say, the idea is you keep doing these over and over and again, over again. Build up the bronzes, sell any expensive bronzes, upgrade the bronzes into silvers, and here we get ourselves a bronze rare. We do get... Oh my! Oh my! Now, I do a bit of League SBC method, and this is where the bronze rare method comes in, uh, comes in pretty, pretty good. Oh my, because I can tell you right here that this guy sells for, like, what, 3 to 4k right here? So obviously it's cost me 400 coins for the pack, and I can go and sell this guy, let's say 3.9k, so arguably I can open 10 bronze packs for the price it's cost me to get one of these. So I can get nothing in the next 8 bronze packs, and I'd still make profit. And that's basically what the whole point is, you know? You pack some expensive players in it, you sell them on, you, the rest of the players, again, this guy can be used in the uh, Scottish League SBC, if he's going for nothing... We'll hold on to him. But actually, Scottish League players, I forgot, are actually worth a little bit because they're being used in marquee matchups. So that's another reason. I'll probably get another 600 coins from that. That's 4.5k from a 400 coin investment. Even more. There you go. Probably, I'd say, even maybe 4.7k from a 400 coin investment. So you can see that's where the money's made. Now, of course, you're not going to get these every single pack, but every now and again, you'll get one of these. And then, obviously, with the players you get, you're using in League SBCs. And that's the whole process. So what we're probably going to do is I'll probably open about 10, 20, 30 bronze packs. And we'll show you any highlights like that, like that 4k bronze we get. And um, yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully I've explained the process through to you. Now what we'll do is we'll show you the good players we managed to get via doing this process. So obviously one of the things you can get in bronze packs is going to be squad fitnesses. Now, of course, a squad fitness will probably cover about one or two packs. Now, from my knowledge, I'll go and use Footbin very quickly. Of course, Footbin is uh, the site which you can use for checking a lot of players' prices. Footbin is saying that squad fitness is on the PlayStation going for 950, which is decent because they'll pay for about 2.5 bronze packs because of the 400 coins a piece. So you probably say it on 1k for a lazy buyer. So that's probably what I try and sell my fitnesses on for. So uh, even if you get no good plays, you still might get a squad fitness or a rare attribute, and that might be the saving grace. Again, this pack we're probably gonna uh, probably garner about what 1.2k. Maybe I'll be able to sell one of these players on, but uh, yeah, not too bad. We haven't really had much between this and um, between the you know the last player we've seen. But one thing I will say though. We actually did get a rare bronze, and every single rare bronze, to an extent, you should be able to sell between 300 to maybe even 1k because of the um, humble beginning SBCs part in the icon SBCs. So uh, I got a um, English centre mid, actually from Pompey, uh, which is my home, you know, my home team, uh, and he sold for 700 coins, even though it wasn't being used for league SBCs. So he's being used for the humble beginning SBC where you need a team of rare bronzes. So we are going to crack into over our next expensive bronze, and that is Traore. Now, I know that Emporial Centimids are very expensive. I know that the Silvers go for about 5 to 6k. So, how much is bronze matey going for? 2.5k. I know he is a little bit less than the Silvers, because I used to actually trade with this guy until doing League SBC method came a little bit more mainstream, and he uh, completely died in price, basically. But yeah, we'll probably be able to cash out about probably about 2.2k for him, but not too bad for a, uh, for a bronze pack. But we also do have a few other players uh, useful for League SBCs in this pack, because my voice is very... Uh, it's got a bit, 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 bit crouchy bit. Oh, hello. Hello. Not bad. Okay, debated. But nonetheless, we'll probably list them up for about 300 coins. Just because at the moment, what I always say is, when you have a pretty empty transfer list, always list stuff up, you know? Like, there's no reason for you not to list up. Now, this guy, in, in all fairness, really isn't going to be selling on, so we won't list them up. But, yeah, when you've got, like, 50, 60 space in your transfer list, right now we have 53. I don't think you can see because it's behind my webcam. But, um, yeah, there's no hurry not to list stuff up. We have excess coins. So we're not in any hurry to discard it. We're, you know, we're looking all good. So until you maybe start hitting like the 70, 80 mark of stuff in your transfer list, I'd even say, probably say 80 to 90. There is no hurry to sell stuff on. Oh, no hurry not to list stuff up, sorry, because, you know, you might as well try and catch people on a lazy bite. And that's, that's the same even if you're not doing the bronze pack method, you know. If you've got a special cards in your club, list them up for lazy buys, you know, because otherwise they're doing absolutely nothing not being listed for lazy buys. Yeah, just going to check that club badge. But yeah, what we'll do is we're going to crack underway with the, uh, the next decent bronze pack we get, or... We're in a, when we're going to do some more advanced or league SBC. 
So we are coming to the end of the uh, bronze packs we're doing just for this little segment, just because I said I'd do them when we are uh, on 100 uh, things on our champs list, and um, can't quite show you, but I've got 99 right now. But what an amazing 100th person to get. Look at this right here, like 5k, I think is the cheapest one on the market right there, 4.8. So, uh, yeah, another banger of a silver. One there for 4-1. We'll go to sell it for 4k. Uh, I don't know if it's normally sells for that. I'm sure people who do the bronze of effort would normally know. But there we go. So what we'll do is we are going to go and discard this. Now, I'm not going to do silver upgrades yet. I'm going to give it way, way more time before I start doing silver upgrades. Because I just don't think it'll be madly time efficient. So we're uh, right now just going to crack underway completing the rest of the basic SBCs you would have seen me do a while ago. Uh, so, yeah, what we'll do is we'll move that over and actually have to show you quickly just all the stuff that's sold on. Because I guess there might be a little bit of speculation if stuff sells on. So we've got 99 things listed. 22 have sold on. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll just walk you through what we get here. So again, it, it's kind of weird because normally I tell you what I bought them for, but um, I guess you can really just see what I got them for. Obviously, these were all got in bronze packs. You can see there are a few pricey players. 2.2k, 300 coins there, 200 there, 400, 200, another 500, another 300, 950 for a fitness. So it's not looking bad. Champs list at the moment is just full of bronzes. Again, this is really how I want to do it. You always want to have a full champs list because if your champs list isn't full, you're mugging yourself off for players you could be selling off on lazy buyers. Now, these haven't sold on. In all fairness, I'm not really in a hurry, so I could just list them up for what I bought them for. And that's actually what I would do. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to complete the last of the three of the Advanced Nation SBCs. And then, uh, of course, we'll show you what we build and what we manage to get in the packs. So as we said, we have gone and completed the three Advanced SBCs, including Prime 9, Suspect 7, and Rare 5s. I say they, uh, they lost the alliteration when they got to Rare 5s, but um, as someone relatively illiterate, I don't blame them. But nonetheless... We've got the Prime 9s right here, it cost me about 7k to do, so happy days, 7k for a 45k pack. Absolute bargain, they'll say, although a 45k pack is the uh, is the worst value for pack out there. Value for money pack, can't speak, won't speak. So the next one we got right here, costs us about 7k for a 15k pack. Not quite as good, but in the end of the day, we got remember, you should get a rare pack for completing all of them. So all these maybe over costs are all um, all made up by the, uh, the overall reward. And finally got ourselves a Jumbo Gold Pack. Game didn't really cost too much. Like, each one of these rare bronzes cost like 250 coins. Really good thing, but though, when you need rare bronzes, just go minimum by now 250, maximum by now 300. Yep, you're not going to get rare bronzes with 200 coins. Yep, you're going to, you know, you're going to maintain sanity because you're not going to scroll through every 200 coin bronze. So, 250 coins minimum by now, 300 max. And uh, as you can see, that's how all these were found, apart from this guy, because I paid 250. But yeah, pretty decent. The uh, I basically searched from Footbin, and I'll be able to show you this right now. Um... The highest rated cards under 500 coins, so I've got a list right here. So I use that to find out how to uh, get rating in it, and uh, we'll probably also just fill it up with bronzes for the rest of them. So there's that done, and now we're uh, heading over to the overall reward. Happy days, hybrid league. And uh, yeah, we would have got ourselves 45k, or not 45, a uh, rare mega pack. So let's go and open it up and see if we get anything good. Now right now the market's kind of cheap for high rate golds, which kind of sucks, because of course, you know, wouldn't be, you know wouldn't mind them being worth more than, uh, not worth more, but... It is what it is. Of course, there's quite a fair few things. Actually, I was going to say there aren't a fair few things in packs as well. We do get good old Slabhead, though. Good old, uh, good old, um, good old Hard Brexit Harry. Not too bad. Not too shabby, Alonso. Look at this. As we have It's Haber in my stream as well. In the stream, in the packs. Not too bad. We get Daniels and a few other cards. We'll send it all to the club because the last thing you guys want to see me do is uh, sort through packs. Because don't worry, I'm doing enough of that fun going for the bronze packs. So now I'm to a 15k pack as we do get the man. The Myth, the No Boards, the Rego, the Spanish Cam, it's going to be, if I'm not wrong, Garcia? Is it Garcia? It is Raul Garcia. Beautiful. We get another 82 rated non rare. Not too shabby. On to the next one, which is a 45k pack, which, again, I really rate these way less than the 35k packs. Part of why I did this one before the 35. And we do get boards. Wow. Wow. First time for everything. Spanish Cam is going to be Sarabia, so it's only an 83 in a 45k pack. Again, I, I really feel you need to nerf the price of these. Hey, we get an A3 Pizzy as well, and we get a good old uh, Shaw. But uh, yeah, they really do need to nerf the price of the 45k packs. Like, I don't get it. You know, another 5k in those five non rare or six non rares turn into rares. Let's go open that 35k pack, and let's see if we get boards in this. Yeah, there you go. We get boards in this one. Again, I, I do rate 35s more than 45. So we do get Spanish. We really do get a right mid. We get Juan. Juan the Man Matter. An 83 in both. Are we going to get more than one 83? What are we going to get? Oh, it's actually a rare mega pack, actually. It was, uh, yeah, a little bit better. We get two 83s in this one as well, but not too shabby. A bunch of fitness, bunch of contracts, all that malarkey. What we're going to do now is probably going to crack underway with a little bit more bronze method because basically our tramps list has uh, opened up. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to do bronze map method, wait and fill up our tramps list. Once that tramps list is all filled up, then move on to some SBCs, and then once, you know, we do a few SPCs, back onto the bronze map method. Now, Again, we're just walking through a few things sold on. This guy for 4k. You know, some of these rares did pretty well. Some of the non-rares sold for 200. Happy days. 
Uh, and yeah, that's that. So we're going to get a banging pull of uh, Nikita. Yeah, I couldn't say him last time. There's a guy I normally trade with this guy. I know he's worth about 2.5k, which is uh, yeah, which is all good in the hood. Look at this. 5k. Oh, wow. 3.8k. Not too shabby. 4k, 4.2. So yeah, we're going to go this up for about 3.2 now. The last thing I told you guys is the League SC. I went for a bunch of them. None of them are profitable to do, just do straight up. So at the moment, we won't be doing League SBCs until... Um, until we, um, we stack more bronzes from said leagues and uh, do some silver upgrades because I was testing out, you know, I really in this race very do want to be testing the meta uh, when it comes to the league SBCs and so on. But yeah, I really, I was, when checking out, it, there was, uh, there didn't really seem to basically be a cheap way just to do the league SBCs without the BPM. The BPM kind of seems necessary for them to, uh, you know, start being cheaper, especially in uh, the La Liga and the couchway and so on and so on. So yeah, we're just going to keep cracking underway with uh, BPM, as you can see, showing you guys when we get good deals. And again, when the traps is full, we'll then go and probably do... Might go and do some humble beginnings or um, or probably just the rest of the advanced SBCs, to be honest. So another bronze player that's uh, done pretty... Or we just pat, which is pretty decent. We've got this guy's use in for... Uh, what's it called? Is it uh, Dusseldorf? There you go. One of the two expensive teams. You've got Nuremberg and Dusseldorf. Uh, yeah, obviously it's quite nice because there aren't too many non-rares actually of a decent value. And I think he's going to be sent about 2.5k. So not too bad for a bronze uh, non-rare. Nothing else too amazing. And they do get the uh, healing, but in all fairness... You're wasting your time this thing because they're just not selling on. But yeah, not too shabby. There's uh, another expensive bronze. As I'll show you probably a few more. We've got a little bit more. We've got another 10 space on our tramps list. In fact, you know what I do. I'll, uh, I'll update you guys with uh, what's sold on recently. One thing. <laughs> Jeez. So yeah, what we'll probably do is we won't do too many more packs. Because again, I just like to fill up the whole tramps list. Then do some advanced SBCs. Because by the time the advanced SBCs are over, we've got another like 40, 50 space in the tramps list. To, uh, to go and fill it with more bronzes. So we've gone and decided to do the advanced SBCs. So here we go. Yeah, yeah, the SBCs weren't actually too pricey, to be honest. We do get some decent packs. We got what, like a 35, a prime gold pack, a 25k pack, and a 7 point and a 15k pack. So let's crack on the way with them, like. So this one cost me about 8k. Not bad for a 35k pack. It'd be quite hard to uh, get less than 8k from a 35k pack. I'd say more than not, you guys probably done these SBCs, but uh, it is what it is. This one super cheap. I think it's about 6k for a 45k pack. Not too bad. I say I'm not actually really. I'm really happy how the uh, day one of the Road to Glory is gone. You know, we're probably gonna be sending about 70, 80k, or probably 70k prior. This stacked up club. You know, it's looking uh looking really really good. Like we might honestly might be on about 150k day one, and a completely stacked club, which uh could be all good in the hood. Because again, we probably still got another like three four hours worth of creating content if that be you doing SBCs or BPMs or whatever. But nonetheless, let's go and crack underway with the packs. Whilst I uh, realise I say crack underway, whilst uh. Someone commented that apparently I say every other word, every other sentence. But nonetheless, let's go open up a 7.5k packs. Let's see. We get ourselves the likes of no boards. We'll skip it. Because, uh, you know, they'll be wasting your guys' time. We get what? Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. We're still all in the club right now. We get Raphael. That's like 1k in it. We get Lejeune. That's like another, I don't know, probably another k on him. But yeah, nothing to scream and shout about. Now to a 7.5k pack. I think it is. No boards. Nothing interesting. Skip it. We get the man, the myth, the legend. Oi, that's actually not bad. Oh, there's a 25k pack. Wow. Um, we get Canales. He's not too bad. Uh, he probably goes for like a K. Yedlin. We don't get any Brexit worries. At the moment, all English players are going for like 3k. So that's honestly like the saving grace of uh, making some coins right now. So all we're doing is waiting to uh, yeah, obviously pack ourselves an English player. We don't get yet another boards. That's amazing. We do get a Frenchie. What do we manage to get ourselves? We get in the pack... Oh, still no. It, like, honestly, if you get an English player, 3k, it's almost as good as get, like, a trash 84. We get a mega pack and a rare mega pack. Hopefully, we'll be able to get something good in these. Oh! It's a board! Here we go. It's a gold. It's a board. It's Spanish. It's a cam. It's... Yeah! Yeah, that guy. All right, it's uh, David Silva. Not too shabby. Look at his bold little head, eh? Look at his bold little head. Uh, he's probably worth, like, 40, 50k. Not too bad. Uh, I mean, hopefully, get some other high rare players in. Let's see. In it, we get an 89 and Pulisic. Like, it generally happens. It's not, it's not like you get an 18, uh, you know. But hey, it is what it is. What else are we getting that pack then? Anything good at the end, maybe? Get another um, the old bold eagle. But yeah, it's not bad. 50k right there. Pog Champiano. Now for the rare mega pack. A pack that uh, theoretically should be double as good. Oh! Bats about boards! There we go. It's gold again. Nice and in form. It's. Brazilian is a goalkeeper. It's oh, it's Edison. Oh, 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 not too bad, not too bad at all, Mr. Edison. Damn, 
Damn, we're getting the Man City players. We get David, whatever he is. Uh, bad to bad with Edison. Edison is going for a healthy. What is he going for? 60k. I imagine, I imagine really, what's he called? David Silver must be going for that. Can we get someone good as well with the likes of Edison? I don't mind if we don't. No. We do get ourselves early in a few high rate players. Still no Brexit Warriors. I'll say they're all going for 3k right now. But yeah, not too shabby. In fact, in before we scroll to the end, and there's a uh, David Silver. No, there isn't. But yeah. Not too bad. Edison and David Silva are probably going to be bump pumping us all the way up to like 250 or something mad like that. But uh, yeah, happy, happy days. The next thing you got, shall see is, I don't know, probably about a bunch more BPM right now. Okay, so we're just going to give you a little update. Of course, we're sitting on 150k because we sold our big old gold. There's a bunch of bronzes we've been selling on just for relatively lazy buys. Now, what we're going to be doing is the, uh, the next stage of the League SBC method. And that is where you go and throw said bronzes, if we head over here to upgrades, into the bronze to, uh, here you go, the bronze upgrade. And basically what you do is you trade in 11 bronzes which aren't used for any SBCs. So you've got Pippa guys not used for, which don't have any league SBCs. So you've got like the Czech League, the Austrian Bundesliga, uh, the Ukrainian League, the Super League has its own, the Danish League, the Irish League, and so on and so on. Basically you go through all the leagues without their own league SBC, uh, and then you go put them in these. And what it does is it gives you, um, two silver players, one rare, one non-rare. And the idea is to get expensive silvers used, uh, which are needed to complete the league SBC. So it might be like the Scarer silver, or it might be like a Valoid silver, or basically, I, I say, a silver that costs a little bit to, le to do the uh, league SBCs. So what we are going to do is we're going to go and put loads of bronze into this, and then we'll uh, show you once we're on to uh, opening up the pack. So just before we go and open up the silver upgrades we've done, we're just going to show you some of the bronze we've sold on. Here we go. Happy days. That's what they sold on. Yay. Alright, so now underway with 20 upgrade packs. Now, of course, we're not really interested in anything other than players from any league with, their, with, uh, with a league SBC. And I'll be honest, I'm going to skip every single pack because um, I'm not really that excited about it. But, um, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not like, going to sit there or doring over a uh, board. But nonetheless, not a bad start. You get uh, one person from the, uh, the Argentinian League and one person from the Odovizzi. Ideally, we'll get players from Valoid, Hascara, Cardiff. And a few others, to say the least. So, let's see what we got. But yeah, not bad first start. Two players, both from League SBCs. On to the next one, not bad. We get a player from the... Okay, he's not good. But uh, yeah, not bad. We can use that guy from, uh, obviously, the League and SBC. Now on to pack numero 18. You know what we'll do? We'll just, we'll just skip past them. And I'll tell you what, after we've done this set, probably in the future when I do these, I'll only show you guys good pulls. But, you know, they don't take madly long to go through. But uh, I guess I'll talk you through the process when we're doing these. So, the process right now is that we do these because, obviously, in, certain, um, in League SBCs, you guys know there are certain teams... With, uh, with expensive teams, like again, who's scary and so on, where it's generally 80k to complete the team. Now, obviously, if you trade in 11 worthless bronzes and you get a player worth like 20k, of course, that's going to kill the price of that, um, that's going to kill the price of that SBC and therefore kill the price of completing the whole league SBC. For example, the La Liga without Hiscara is 80k cheaper, which, uh, means the whole SBC may worth, be worth doing. But yeah, that's a pretty decent pack right there, uh, two MLS players, which isn't bad. So again, what we're doing right now is just going to crack through these, and it's going to give me loads of silvers that are going to help me complete League SBCs for cheaper. Because basically, every single one of these I do, I think it costs like, not bad, would cost me about 1.1k, because of course the discard, oh no, it wouldn't cost me, it cost me 100, 110 coins, because the discard of bronzes is what, like 20 coins or something like that? So it's only obviously 11 times that, which is two, 220 coins. Which, uh, obviously, it cost me 220 coins to buy both these guys. Two players who can be used in League SBCs. But, uh, yeah, that is the, uh, that's the plan of action. We're just going to keep going through Juan by Juan by Juan and uh, pick these up. Because, again, every single time we get players useful for League SBCs like these two, we're saving ourselves money. And, honestly, if you want to complete loads of League SBCs, it's amazing. If you're trying to sp complete a specific SBC, I wouldn't recommend it. Because, let's say I specifically wanted to do the Bundesliga League SBC. You know, I've done quite a lot of packs and I've had one player. So it probably wouldn't be worth it because it'd probably be cheaper to distract by the player. But uh, if you, again, want to do loads of League SBCs and complete them all eventually, it's, it's probably your best option because, again, another two players being used for League SBCs. Now, can we see how much this guy would normally go for? This guy would go for 400 and this guy would go for, what, like, 1.1k right there. So I guess theoretically if I was complete the League SBCs, 1.4, but it only cost me 220 coins. So let's keep going for them one by one by one. So we're going to get the next one. But yeah, we've had pretty good luck so far. Not bad. Japanese League and uh, La Liga. But yeah, it's, it's, I'll tell you what I'm surprised by. I'm surprised by how consistently you'll get players from the leagues that you need. Because I've had like, what, probably like one Polish player, maybe one one Czech Republican League player. But on the whole, as I uh, almost get two players not needed, um, it's been pretty decent. And again, if you do get these trash players, now what you do is you put them into the silver upgrade SBC on the icons. On the icons, there's an upgrade SBC where you trade in 11 rare uh, silvers and you get yourself a gold non-rare pack. 
So, of course, if I get loads of trash players, let's say, from the French Lee Dur and all that malarkey, as long as they're rare silvers, they'll be all good. And I guess if the, the non-rare silvers which you use, I don't know, maybe bang them marquee matchup or something like that, but... It's been pretty decent uh, outcome so far. Again, this guy, for example, is normally worth, like, what, 2k for the League SBC? So, again, it just makes the whole League SBC a lot, lot cheaper if you can have these players uh, pack pulled in these packs that theoretically cost only 220 coins. So, five packs left to go. As I say, you'll probably see, like, one or two of these every single episode because, of course, we'll grind up bronze packs during the episode and then we'll end them off by uh, getting rid of all the bronzes and putting them into these. Game not bad because Jean Pereira right there. Obviously, he can be using the Super League uh, SBC. But yeah, I'm actually, I'll tell you what, I am, uh, for the first time doing this, I'm actually pleasantly surprised via um, how often you actually get useful silvers. Because, um, I say, there aren't too many packs where I'm not getting decent silvers. And obviously, if you did this for two, three days, you'd have a really, really nice bank of silvers. And as a result, you'd probably have, like, what, three, four guys from different SBCs. And obviously, you know, it makes the SBCs cheaper, especially if you've got a few bronzes, which is in fact via the bronze method. Now, we've got three of these left to go. Uh, I'd say the future what I'll do is we'll just show you the highlights. Maybe I'll say, all right, I'm going to open ten, and then I'll show you the highlights. You can see what I get from ten, but... There you go, another two players can be used for League SBCs. Now, I'm relatively aware of the guys who are super expensive. Uh, and I have, and I can say, I guess, I haven't packed any of them. Like, not one from any league. But we have packed players probably with value of about 2 3 k So that's not been too bad. As we do get ourselves a character way, guys. So, on to the last one. What you'll probably see me do after this is probably a few, a little bit more bronze packs. A bit of League SBC. And then we'll end off the episode. But yes, yeah, it's, it's looking decent so far as we're on about 250 k for, uh, for day one. Now, of course, there's a lot of advanced SBCs, and you guys can't do them if you've already, you know, done the advanced SBCs, but yeah, not too shabby on the way with some BPM. So, we are going to go and end off today's episode, which has honestly been a really, really good episode. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it uh, with some of the advanced SBCs. Now, these will be the last advanced SBCs you'll see me do because I'm not going to go and do the loyalty, not unless I miraculously pack everyone. So, we've got this one right here, which is the Puzzler. Again, super cheap team. This team can't cost much more than 5k for a 25k players pack. It is not too shabby. And uh, moving on to the next one, which is the immediate. Now, one thing I would like to say about this Road to Glory, which, let me just walk you through this one quickly. This one cost me like 5, 6k, 25k pack, is that I'm not quite sure if it's going to be regressive from here because I've done quite a lot of the good expensive SBCs. Now, of course, I've got all the League SBCs to do and um, all the humble beginnings on the icons. But it's like, I've done the obviously well-known, uh, super like popular expensive SBCs. So the only way, I guess... Maybe it would, wouldn't be too regressive this series, as in the later we go, the worse SBCs are. Is if I open loads of bronze packs and I have, let's say, loads of um, God, loads of Chinese league and loads of, let's say, Australian league and Saudi league uh, bronzes, which are useful for SBCs, because of course later in the series, the more of these bronzes we're going to get, and the more of these SBCs we can do. Uh, so that's, I guess, one thing we'll be seeing. I guess, like, basically, it'll be like good SBCs should be on a downward. Um, graph, let's say, but then the amount of bronze and silvers we have to complete league SBCs should be going up. So. That should, uh, if that may, if I make any sense, hopefully, uh, you know, that shows how the uh, process won't be regressive. I also know that today hasn't been madly followable because, of course, I imagine a lot of you guys have done the advanced SBCs. But nonetheless, hopefully I've helped you out with um, how to do a little bit of BPM. But yeah, we get Laporte right there. That's going to be about 10k, which has been uh, pretty, pretty decent. But yeah, I'm actually really, really happy with how day one's gone. Anything else in there? Uh, Heaton goes for 3k. But yeah, uh, been really, really happy with today, how today's episode's gone. Obviously, we're probably seeing about 200 to 220k for day one, which is not too bad. Um, so yeah, if we, I mean, if we could keep up and made like 1-5 in, in 7 days, that'd be amazing. Because again, whole point of this Road to Glory is to see, can you do this instead of trading? Because again, I, I throw it off a lot of time. I'm like, no, do trading instead of BPM. And honestly, I kind of still hold a lot of that standpoint after a day of doing this. Because it's like, I've done a lot of the advanced SBCs. I've probably made like 30, 40k via BPM. And, you know, we made progress towards completing League SBCs. But it's definitely not been quite uh, quite trading as such. But there you go. That has been it for day one of 0 to 2 million in 7 days via no trading. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Again, any questions, do make sure to drop them down below. And uh, yeah, I shall see you guys tomorrow for day two of, uh, of the Road to Glory.